throughout the years, thanks to live TV, we've seen some of the most jaw dropping and awkward celebrity moments. Hi, I'm Stacey Taylor, and today I'm counting down the top 10 celebrities who were publicly humiliated on live TV, part two. So, which celebrities do you think embarrassed themselves the most on live TV? And let us know in the comments below. Coming at number 10, we have Katy Perry. Katy Perry has had some pretty embarrassing moments when she forgot the name of her old school friend on Jimmy Kimmel Live. When Jimmy showed Katy six people and told her one of them was part of her life, Katy would be left mortified as she forgot her school friend's name. After identifying the person correctly against five strangers, Katy excitedly said, Oh my god, stop. I know who this is, Erica. Her friend would then correct her by saying, Annika, yeah. Katie then tried to redeem herself by saying, We were really good friends, Annika. What an incredibly beautiful woman you've grown into. But the conversation would soon take a different turn as Annika, who was friends with Katie in 6th and 7th grade at Santa Barbara Christian School, was quizzed by Jimmy. When asked if she had any good stories about Katie, she said, My stories about Katie kind of all revolve around the chest. She would then explain that during a sleepover at her house, Katie told her and her sister that they couldn't wear a bra to bed because it would crush their chest and it would never grow. She would then also reveal that Katie once even lifted up her shirt in the locker room to reveal that she was wearing two. Bras. Katie would then add that she remembered the two were also pretty mischievous. And number nine, Beyonce. Now, Beyonce definitely looked stunning when she took the stage for the 2013 Super Bowl Pepsi halftime show, but in the process, she had a bit of a wardrobe malfunction during her performance. Beyonce would be rocking this super tight black ensemble when she performed some of her greatest hits during the Super Bowl, but it seems like all the double sided tape in the world couldn't keep her chest in her top. Thanks to Janet Jackson, Every Super Bowl, this exact wardrobe malfunction haunts every performer's dreams. While everything seemed to have gone perfectly smooth and according to the plan, minus the whole power outage thing, there was soon speculation that Beyonce made the ultimate Super Bowl boo boo. With Beyonce stressing about this performance as it was such a big deal for her and somewhat of a homecoming, Beyonce was so proud to even have the moment and she even stated that having the opportunity to perform at the Super Bowl halftime show was all thanks to to her hard work she's done in her very successful career. Well, unlike Janet Jackson, the star didn't end up getting cancelled from the embarrassing wardrobe malfunction. She actually ended up getting praised. Even Demi Lovato would write, Y'all can keep watching the game, but I think it's safe to say Beyonce just won the Super Bowl. Hey, my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in at number eight, we have Christina Aguilera. Now, the national anthem can be pretty tough to sing. And when you sing the Star Sprangled Banner at a huge event like the World Series, Series, the pressure can be pretty intense that you tend to screw it up on purpose and other times, well, you just get caught up in the moment and forget where you are. Back in 2011, Christina Aguilera would have the chance to sing the anthem at the Super Bowl and she had a pretty embarrassing moment when she fumbled the lyrics pretty hard and Aaron Lewis would even slam her for it by saying, I guess I don't understand how people who sing the national anthem can be so effing self-absorbed that they would try to change the effing song. If there's a single song in history of this country that deserves no creative interpretation, it's that one. Lewis, of course, was just as embarrassed as Christina was after she flubbed the anthem as she would head to her Facebook to say, All I can say is I'm sorry and ask for the nation's forgiveness. My nerves got the best of me and I am completely torn up about what happened. America is the greatest country in the world. The star spangled banner means so much to many, including myself. I hope everyone can understand the intensity of the situation and my true intent for this performance. Number seven, Jennifer Lawrence. So back in February 2013, Jennifer Lawrence would momentarily silence the crowd at the Oscars when she took a tumble on the stage stairs while she was trying to accept her Academy Award for Best Actress that night. The Hunger Games star's face could then be seen planted in her pink gown. While she didn't end up getting back up to accept the night's top honor, she still thinks about the award show fail. Jennifer would then reflect on a moment during an interview in October 2021 when she recalled feeling nervous and very superstitious before taking a Golden Globe statue for her role in the 2012 Silver Linings Playbook. Jennifer would say, I was very, very, very nervous, but I was ready. All of her adrenaline clears out, and when they called her name, she was elevated in shock that she fell and it erased everything from her mind. Her brain went blank, and it took some time for a very long time. And the fall was actually really sensitive to her. While many claim that Jennifer faked the fall, she would be left feeling humiliated and would even explain that she didn't even know if she would ever have the chance to have a speech like this again, and it didn't feel good for her to have the speech that she had. While the star did end up receiving a standing ovation, 
ovation. She would even state that everyone only gave her a standing ovation is because they felt bad about how she fell and had a super embarrassing moment. Number six, Fergie. So back in 2017, Fergie would attend the Trevor's projects for the Trevor Live LA Gala, which honored Tom Ford that year. As Army Hammer stood on the stage presenting Tom with the Hero Award, Fergie walked onto the stage unexpectedly. While some thought it was just part of an act, it would soon be discovered it was all unplanned. While Army realized she was on the stage, she would go, oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, Fergie. Fergie would then say, no, I'm not Fergie. I'm actually Army Hammer. Thank you. I'm going to win the Academy Awards. Thanks. So this is unexpected. And in a typical Tom Ford style, I think he would love that. If he was here, while well, Tom was actually in attendance, he was sitting at the head table, Fergie would go on to talk about how amazing he was and how she was embarrassed that she didn't have Tom Ford makeup in her bag. Fergie would then finish her rant by claiming she was still ARMY. While she exited the stage, ARMY tried to make light of the stage crashing by saying if I had a nickel for every time I was confused with Fergie. Seems like Fergie had no shame that night as she proceeded to go on the stage again when there were sound issues and she attempted to suddenly lead the crowd in a sing along of her song A Little Work which only a few people if anyone in the crowd actually knew the words. Number five, Ben Affleck. Back in 2016, Ben Affleck would make an odd appearance on any given Wednesday with Bill Simmons. During the show, Ben would be seen ranting and cursing around 20 plus times. He would then even bring up his past relationship with Jennifer Lopez and blamed her for being responsible for his career taking a hard nosedive. He then blamed Jen for ruining his career and he said his wife at the time, Jennifer Garner, was his rock and supporter during his comeback years when he won another Academy Award back in 2012. A source of them revealed that when Ben arrived for the HBO show interview, he was slurring his words and looked bloated. They would then continue to say that Ben humiliated himself clearly by being under the influence on TV and that it wouldn't be easy for him to live that down. It said that Jennifer was so embarrassed with her husband's actions that she couldn't understand why her husband at the time thought it was a good idea to go on national TV under the influence. Number four, Drew Barrymore. Even to this day, Drew Barrymore still feels ashamed over her behavior on Watch What Happens Live in 2018. While chatting with Andy Cohen for her digital series, The Drew Barrymore Show, the actress would apologize for being under the influence for her appearance. Drew would say, It was on your show, and I drank too much, and I have never forgiven myself, nor will I ever forgive myself. Whatever personal things I do, nobody sees it. Although I'm an imperfect person, and I toot that, I have had the liberty since I was a kid because it was always out there. And it was either boo hoo about it or say, Oh, God. God. It's sort of redeeming to not have to pretend to be perfect, but I really want to apologize to you because I really will never let it happen again. While the incident had a lasting impact on Drew, and he actually didn't remember it at all, especially because celebrities are often spotted being under the influence on his show. Andy would even say, I'm used to people being overserved on my shows, so I don't even really have a clear memory of it. But you don't need to apologize to me for being overserved on my shows. That happens. You're in a great club of people. That didn't stop Drew though from being embarrassed as she was actually caught slurring words on camera that night. Number three, Dakota Johnson. Dakota Johnson has become one of the most bankable celebrities in the industry thanks to her performances in countless blockbuster movies, including her erotic trilogy films, Fifty Shades of Grey. However, Dakota would find herself so embarrassed by her mom that she once snapped out on her own mother during an award show. During the Oscars red carpet event, Dakota Johnson and her mother, Melanie Griff, were being interviewed by a couple of reporters, which Melanie would state that she refused to watch Dakota's erotic films. Prior to this interview, Melanie would also say the same thing during the 87th Academy Awards, which happened in 2015. Talking about the Oscars red carpet interview, Melanie, who was standing alongside her daughter Dakota, was asking if she watched the film Fifty Shades of Grey, to which she immediately did denied and very uncomfortably said, she's a good actress, I don't need to see it to know how good she is. Hearing that, Dakota would then turn red and she ended up snapping on her mom by saying, all right, you don't have to see it. During the same interview, Melanie was then asked if she would find any of the scenes in the movie awkward and Dakota would jump to answer the question by saying, it's a movie, she knows that. Later it would be reported that Melanie actually tried to calm things down between herself and her daughter by saying she would only see the movie if Dakota asked her to. Coming in at number two, we have Whoopi Goldberg. So 
live television is tough because anything can go wrong at any moment, like letting one rip in the middle of a segment. And that's what happened to Whoopi Goldberg, who passed gas for quite a long time right in the middle of singer Ashanti's sentence. While the fart in question sounded more like a leaking car tire than the cartoon sound we're all accustomed to hearing, Whoopi could be seen after saying, Excuse me, oh, oh, after the audible blow. The panel and audience would then erupt into fits of laughter before Rosie O'Donnell walked away from the desk and started to wave her hands in an attempt to get rid of the smell. But on the subsequent tape of the show, Whoopi cleared the air and said she was joking when she pretended the flat sound was a fart by saying, There was a sound effect we've never heard before, and I'm thinking, This is weird. What can I do? Oh, I'm gonna pretend I let something go as a joke. However, this wouldn't be the first time Whoopi farted on air. Back in 2011, she passed gas and she said she let a frog out. And number one, Miley Cyrus. A wardrobe malfunction was banned to happen to Miley Cyrus at one point. So we all weren't surprised when she had a Janet Jackson moment while hosting the VMAs. Just seconds after Taylor Swift picked up the gong for the best music video for Epic Bad Blood collaboration, the camera swung over to Miley, who was in the middle of a costume change and behind a black curtain in her dressing room. While the star could be seen looking wide eye and at the camera, it quickly cut away from Miley and she told the crowd, Oh, what's happening? Oh, sorry, my chest is out. Now, we all imagine she had this plan and she didn't care about being exposed on a live show with millions watching. However, by how fast she was to cover up again, she was surrounded by a backstage crew who looked pretty stunned as well when it happened. It clearly was an embarrassing moment for the star and while it definitely wasn't her fault that the cameras jumped backstage way before it was her time to go on camera, she was still open minded to the situation even though you could tell she was pretty embarrassed. She didn't let it affect her and she went on with the rest of the show with smiles. Well, that's it for this video my little peaches. Until the next one, remember to stay juicy.